Pangea for kids. Have you ever heard of Pangea? Well, you are in luck because today we are going to talk all about it. Pangea was a supercontinent that existed around 280 million years ago. It is called a supercontinent because it was made up of all the continents on Earth at the time, joined together in one huge landmass. Whoa! You see, the Earth's crust is not one solid piece, but is made up of several different sections, which are called plates. These plates move around very slowly, about the same speed that your fingernails grow. But over millions of years, their movements can make huge changes to the Earth's surface. Which brings us back to Pangaea. Here is an interesting fact. The word Pangaea actually means all lands in Greek. Imagine the Earth as one big puzzle, with all the pieces fitting perfectly together to form one giant landmass. This is what Pangaea looked like. The Earth was very different back then. The continents were in different places, and there was only one big ocean called Panthalassa. So, how did Pangaea form? Well. It all started with a process called plate tectonics. As we mentioned earlier, the Earth's crust is made up of several different plates. These plates move around on top of the Earth's mantle, which is a layer of hot, molten rock beneath the crust. Sometimes the plates move apart, sometimes they move towards each other, and sometimes they slide past each other. About 300 million years ago, all the continents were located in the southern hemisphere, and they started moving closer and closer together. Over millions of years, they collided and formed one huge landmass, Pangaea. Pangaea looked very different from the Earth we know today. There were huge mountain ranges, like the Appalachian Mountains in the eastern United States, and the Ural Mountains in Russia. There were also vast deserts, like the Sahara Desert in Africa, and huge inland seas, like the Permian Sea. But Pangaea didn't last forever. About 200 million years ago, the supercontinent started to break apart. The Earth's plates continued to move, and eventually, Pangaea split into two smaller landmasses, Laurasia in the north and Gondwana in the south. Over millions of years, Laurasia and Gondwana also broke apart, forming the continents we know today. North America, Europe, and all of Asia, except for India, were once part of Laurasia, while South America, Africa, Australia, Antarctica, and India were part of Gondwana. Now, you might be wondering how we know about Pangaea if it existed so long ago. Well, scientists have studied the rocks and fossils found in different parts of the world to piece together what the Earth looked like millions of years ago. They have found similar rock formations and fossils in places that are now very far apart, which suggests that these places were once part of the same landmass. For example, the same type of dinosaur fossils have been found in both Africa and South America, even though these continents are now separated by a large ocean. This suggests that Africa and South America were once connected as part of Pangaea. Scientists have also discovered DNA evidence that links humans from different continents to each other. Talk about a small world! Now that we have learned more about Pangaea, let's review. Fill in the blank. Pangaea was considered a blank continent because it was so huge.
Super. True or false? Scientists have found similar fossils and DNA evidence on different continents. True. When Pangaea first split, it divided into how many pieces? Two. Great job, friends. Pangaea was a supercontinent that joined all seven continents together in one giant landmass and reminds us that we are all connected together as humans on Earth. What is something new that you learned about Pangaea today? Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.